I produced and edited my first video blogs, and lots of people have asked me about how I did them. So today I'm going to be telling you about some of the technology that was used. Did you know that YouTube is the third most visited website after Google and Facebook? It's ahead of Yahoo, Baidu, the Chinese search giant, and Wikipedia at sixth. YouTube is also an important source of information itself, as well as of entertainment. So I think it's very important that organisations have a presence on YouTube. For Annals of Botany, this means we can tell you interesting things about plant sciences and explain informally some of the stories around the things that we do, such as my series of three video blogs about the background images on our covers. Maybe you prefer ball games. There, you could have the lavish commentary boxes overlooking the very pitch itself. But actually, if you don't have that, then green screen is the way to go. And then you can be seen commentating with the action behind you. Hopefully in this video, I'll show you some of the ways that we can use this in your own studio. So if you want to be filmed in front of your favourite Formula One track, that's quite possible using virtual studio techniques. So if you want to be filmed in front of your favourite Formula One track, that's quite possible using virtual studio techniques. Let's look how we make virtual studio videos in practice. There are three excellent computer programs available, Sony Vegas, Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere. All do more or less the same things, and I happen to use Adobe Premiere largely because of my familiarity with Photoshop, which I use daily for my microscopy and imaging in my lab. Here I am in the same studio in a breakfast show setting, answering some informal questions about why I became a plant scientist. You can see how you can cut out the background and bring in the wall by taking out the green screen behind me and then showing a background of stained dividing cells with an area to feature changing images. Overall then, I hope over the last few minutes I've shown you some of the ways that rather simple studio facilities combined with advanced programs let you make videos which present interesting topics on the YouTube forum.